Hi, I'm Nick. Today, we're going to look at what the GS911 is and how you can use it to diagnose problems with your BMW motorcycle. By connecting a GS911 to your BMW, all you need is basic knowledge of that BMW's systems to be able to diagnose and repair problems with those systems. But how is all this possible? If there is a problem, the motorcycle actually starts the diagnostic process itself. It does this by logging a fault code to its onboard memory. A fault code is simply a description of what problem the motorcycle has, how many times the problem has occurred, and whether or not the fault is still there. At this point, you will know that there is a problem with the motorcycle, but you may not yet know what the problem is. If you're a doctor, and the motorcycle is a sick patient talking in a foreign language, you can take action because you can understand what the patient is saying about where it hurts. The GS911 acts as the translator that takes the exotic language the motorcycle is speaking and makes it understandable. When the GS911 is connected to the motorcycle, it reads all fault codes that have been logged by the motorcycle and presents them to you in a way that quickly points you to where the problem is. GS911 also has built-in fail-safes to ensure that the device and its control software cannot damage the motorcycle in any way. The physical GS911 is called an interface device. This is the physical device that connects to your motorcycle's diagnostic connector. It's important to know that you can't connect a GS911 to any motorcycle that isn't a BMW. After connecting the interface device, you will be sending commands to the device using an Android, Mac or Windows device, such as a mobile phone, a tablet PC or a laptop computer. This device is called the control device. What I'm holding here is a 10-pin GS911 USB plus Wi-Fi device. There is also a 3-pin GS911 device available for older bikes such as Oilhead Boxer Twins and Flying Brick Inline 4s. You can easily see what GS911 device your BMW needs by looking at the shape of the bike's diagnostic connector. When the interface device is connected to your motorcycle, it must be able to communicate with the control device of your choice. It can do this using a USB cable. Some GS911s can also communicate with the control device of your choice using Wi-Fi radio communication. First, connect the GS911 interface device to your BMW's diagnostic connector. Here, I've connected the GS911 to a typical R1200GS manufactured from the year 2013 onwards. Switch on the ignition, turn on the kill switch, and make sure the bike's gearbox is in neutral. The power status LED will flash green 5 times per second while the GS911 interface boots up. When the boot sequence is complete, the power status LED will flash green twice per second. There are two ways to check for fault codes using GS911. Here, I'll be viewing a detailed report of all fault codes from all modules at once. This procedure is called auto-scanning, and because it typically takes no more than a couple of minutes, it's the fastest and easiest way. To perform the auto-scan, launch the GS911 software by clicking the GS911 icon. Click the correct motorcycle series. Click the correct motorcycle model. Click the auto-scan link. Click the perform auto-scan button. The auto-scan report will be displayed. Maximize the GS911 window for easier viewing. Read the auto-scan results by scrolling down the results page. On this report, we can see that no fault codes have been generated for the electronic suspension, the vehicle immobilizer, the instrumentation display, the secondary electronic systems module, the tire pressure monitoring system, or the anti-lock braking system. We've picked up that this R1200GS has a single fault code. Reading the report, we can see that the right-hand side fuel injector is faulty. It's very important to realize that clearing the fault code will not fix the problem that generated the fault code. In other words, if you simply clear the fault code and put the bike back together, the actual fault will not be cured. At this point, you must either repair the root cause of the problem, or get a trained technician to repair the problem for you. The faulty fuel injector has been replaced. Since the root cause of the problem has been fixed, we can now clear the fault code. Click the Clear All Fault Codes button. When all fault codes have been cleared, click the OK button. 
It's good practice to check the integrity of any repair by performing a second auto scan. Here, we can see that there is no longer a fault code logged under the engine management section. Since a motorcycle with its engine running logs all faults in real time, a faulty fuel injector would generate a new fault code immediately. Thanks for watching! You can find more information on auto scanning and everything else to do with the GS911 in the basic GS911 user's manual. To read the manual, go to www.hexinnovate.com.